Another school day concluded. The moment homeroom let out, I got my stuff together and stood up to leave. Oh, ご主人様スピーディーですね。Didi came over as if she'd been hoping to have a chat, and her eyes were wide open in surprise. You inviting me to hang out by chance? Yes. でしたが、その様子ではアンサーを聞くまでもありませんね。Sorry about that. Don't worry about me too much. Hi, Kabuwa. Aware of the situation, she did nothing to stop me. I apologetically waved to her as I left the room. I usually took my sweet time whenever I went to see Misaki, but today was different. I had the text she sent me right after fifth period to thank for that. Rereading that text, I could feel my face going slack with glee. Though we'd been seeing each other after class, we'd never really set up a proper meeting like this. Of course, I was planning to go whether she invited me to or not, but it was the very fact that she did invite me which made this time feel different. Would that be all right? The way she wrote that at the end just made it sound so humble. How precious is that? Yep, and love the sweetest thing. Even though she hadn't answered my confession yet, I already felt like we were in that kind of relationship. I must have looked like such a creep walking through the halls, though. But what the hell? I was happy. Misaki, what's up? Ray is in the house. Greeting Misaki, who seemed to have just finished getting ready to play, I immediately took a seat on the chair nearby. She must have put that chair there specifically for me, since it's such a good spot to listen from and all. Man, I'm so happy for your warm invitation. I've been so hyper because of it. I'm embarrassed to admit I couldn't concentrate on my sixth class because of your message. But I realized just how much I love you thanks to that. Just kidding. She was frozen on the spot. Was I too blunt? Wait, I think she might just be beside herself at me right now. It was definitely suited for of me to act like that much of a pompous, self-opinionated idiot. In other words, I done goofed. Sorry about that. My head bowed in dejection. I took out my pocket watch and threw it against the ground. Right, take two. But first things first. What the hell was I thinking? I stood in the middle of the hallway, burying my head in my hands. I guess those texts had gotten me a little overexcitable. But seriously, holy shit! I'm an idiot. With the benefit of hindsight, I was able to look back and realize I hadn't just crossed the line back there. I'd utterly obliterated it. With a flourish and the most impeccably horrendous timing imaginable, Crow appeared in front of me. What am I doing? She says. You saw all that anyway, didn't you? Come on, I don't do shit like that. Usually. Well, at least I regret it, right? Anyway, looks like she's gotten ready. I'll have to make a more subdued entrance this time. Oh fuck off! If I did, I would have gotten a girlfriend by now. And besides, that was just a plain and simple violation of common sense back there. Ah, common sense is overrated anyway. <laughs> like you want to fucking talk? So you gonna tag along? This little fuck. She just gets her kicks from watching me screw up, doesn't she? Excuse me, I say in my mind and quietly opened the door. Misaki was concentrating on her performance and didn't notice me enter. 
Not only was she calm playing the violin, but also passionate in her performance. I'd rather not interrupt her until it's over. I closed my eyes and listened intently to her performance. She heaved a sigh and slowly lowered both her arms. I wanted to break into an applause, but it would spoil the moment. I've got to keep calm. I can't get tempted by the sexy drops of sweat on her. She smiled sweetly. She obviously realized I was here. Of course I did. I texted you and all. Hey! I see. When she honestly tells me like this, I get quite embarrassed. Seems like you can play well even with me around. She raised her voice and turned bright red, possibly from recalling. Well, I can't blame her after that confession. Well, I'm glad you've regained your composure after a day. I did. I'm so happy I want to hug you. Oops, this excitement was what screwed everything up. Seriously? I could have hugged her? Virginity doesn't matter. Heck, I forgot Crow was even here. However, I'm not the type to get distracted with this. Besides, Misaki can't see Crow anyway. Alright, let me hug you then. <laughs> Why? You said I could, right? Hey! Having heard too much, I narrowed my eyes at Crow. Uh, no, that wasn't directed towards you and I'm not angry. I was glad you invited me. Your performance was great too. No need to worry. I was looking forward to this time with you. I enjoyed it as well. I always want to listen to your performances like I said. I wouldn't be here if I didn't feel like it. The Sandman would have got me if I felt bored. I sure was a genius to get lured by her music back then. Well, it may have been her heart moving performance. My heart was longing for it, unbeknownst that Misaki was playing. Good job, me! It's because I love you. Did I just say that out loud? I think I said something embarrassing out of excitement. Else I wouldn't have said it out loud. But since she said she prefers me that way, I have to swallow my pride. I wonder what would have happened if I didn't use the watch. It's a bit of a pity to think about it. I don't regret it since I discovered something though. Why, of course! All for you! A sweet and fuzzy feeling lingered in the air. Was this the mood she was talking about? She turned her gaze upon me after lightly stroking the violin. You'll play my request? Huh? She, she's supposed to focus on practicing right now. We can't be official until after the contest. 
And besides, we can't just do this in an empty classroom after school. <laughs> Why not? Especially not while Crow's watching. <laughs> Your plan to win the contest, after all? I got it. She played my request afterwards. Well, I could only suggest one of the previous pieces she played. And I guess that's why I was able to compare it with her previous performance. I think she had more leeway this time. Her tune and rhythm was perfect and she strung up the melody with grace. I felt it was an example of a perfect performance loyal to the score. After the performance, he sighed in relief after a slight nod. He? Don't you mean she? I applaud this time, her performance was good. Good job, it was wonderful. <laughs> I thought you were good. <laughs> Sorry, that's all I can say since I have no knowledge in music. I have to study some more for her. Or else I'll just end up listening one-sidedly. Thanks for letting me join in. I am. That's why I'll give a better comment next time. At least something better than today's. Oh, but I think it was slightly different from Michiru's performance long ago. I wouldn't know how to answer in case she asks for more details. I have no idea about techniques and stuff like that. Hmm? I don't think there were... well, maybe there was something. Sorry, but speaking from a sensory view, I felt your performance lacked something. It's not like you skipped a note or made a mistake, something was just lacking. Well, it's complete, but it's perfect when you start off with a hundred, but different when you start from zero, I guess. Even if you say that, I couldn't use the watch yet, so I was scared of how she'd react. But she wanted me to say it. I might even cause her more trouble if I was vague about it. So, I said it like I felt. You were good, but I think you lacked emotion. Probably aware of what I meant, she dropped, uh, she drooped her shoulders after looking up at the ceiling. Sorry, I couldn't put it in a better way. <laughs> Misaki looked quite crestfallen. I ought to do something, in many ways. Um, but wouldn't you get better if you knew what the problem was, then fix it? After she told me if I did, I'd have solved this problem long ago, I had no words. Yeah, you looked quite serious to me, and I felt your passion. I don't know how effective my encouragement was, but she didn't look too convinced. She picked up the violin again and closed her eyes to calm herself down. Notes like rippling waves began to emanate from the slow movement of her fingers. Each note was precise. I could tell she played them so as not to interrupt the flow. Yeah, it's filled with emotion. What I felt was the emotion of impatience. Irritation that she couldn't play the way she wanted to and restrained to control it. 
I felt it from both the notes and the rests. Bleh. I let out a gasp, but that wasn't why she stopped playing. She grimaced in pain as she rubbed her finger. She probably injured it while pressing on the strings. Are you all right, Misaki? Did you get hurt? <laughs> she wiggled her hand as she said this. It looked slightly red, but it won't leave any marks. Her emotional fatigue might be the bigger issue here. A long time problem like this can just be fixed with some practice. It has a meaning to Misaki. I felt pathetic having to justify myself like this. Hey Misaki, want to take a short break first? You just think you do, but I didn't dare to say it. Being passionate is good and all, but don't overdo yourself, okay? You've been up late last night, right? You woke up early too. So you might have been piling up fatigue. Take a break. Actually, let me take one too. I'm tired. She knew I was trying to egg her on, so she said it reluctantly. Yet she listened to my request and sat on the seat beside me. Just take a break, right? Have some small talk. So let's talk about you. I'm not interesting, you know. It may be an innocent question, but she was planning along those lines. Come to think of it, she asked me about this in her message this morning. My like, sir. I like games and manga, pretty much like any other guy. As for food, I like curry. It's also pretty average, too. By the way, my type of girl is the one who works hard to reach her dreams. I already confessed to you, right? I won't get as nervous as the first time, though. I felt a bit embarrassed, but I enjoyed seeing her reaction more. Your turn. Would you tell me your likes? No, I meant to ask about your favorite food or hobbies. Will you tell me if I ask? Wow, she's so cute. I can't get sick of this. Actually, I fall for her every single time. S so, about the violin. This seems to be headed in a good direction. Misaki would be behind me as hugging me. She tell me to squat a little since she can't reach. We'd both blush, our eyes meeting, faces so close. It's such a wonderful suggestion, but I don't think I can hold back if that happened. Unfortunately, I prefer to hear your performance than mine. But can I ask you to teach me after the contest? Was she beaming because she could teach me or because we could have some body contact? Never mind, I'm glad either way. Let me be honest with you, I think you'll have a hard time. I tried my hand at it when I was young and I knew I had no talent. Well, Michiru had no interest even though she has the talent. Crap, a slip of the tongue. Have you been learning the violin since you were young? Yeah, 
Oh, that's impressive. Not as much compared to you. I'm not being humble, it's true. I know some things, but I'd be studying something seriously from next year. I guess you could say I'm on my grace period right now. My future's already been determined, so I've got it easy. So I don't really have much pressure. You're different, right? But she didn't look too happy, even if I praised her for working hard. Your family is what it is, so working hard is your responsibility. ただ、バイオリンは習い事じゃなくて、私が私のために頑張りたいのよ。However, humans can only do so much. Time is limited. If she puts too much work into it, she'll eventually burn out. It's in her personality to devote everything to meet a goal. She doesn't take well to rests and she looks like she'll work hard without cutting any corners. And she doesn't put effort on just one thing. She takes the can-do approach to anything. I like that part of her, but I don't want to see her collapse from working too hard. So my role is to... Alright, shall we go to the rooftop? No, you're thinking too much. This is still part of the break. I won't. I want to though. Anyway, don't hug yourself. It's sexy. <laughs> there probably aren't any people at this hour, but even I won't lay a hand on her. It's got nothing to do with my libido. She sounded hesitant, yet she carefully placed the violin in its case. Though I succeeded in getting her to come with me, the hard part comes next. Crow glared at me as if to tell me to do things right, then disappeared. You don't need to tell me that. I'm not sure if I understand a maiden's feelings. Well then, let's have a conversation with Misaki on the rooftop next time on Chrono Clock. Thanks for watching everyone, and have a nice day. Bye bye.